Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing another one by Emika Games, the developer behind Locked Up and Find Yourself. This is Summer of 58, and if you want to get this for yourselves, look down below in the description. The links and the details are down there, am I right? Now, in Summer of 58, I'm going to be playing as someone who investigates an abandoned camp in Russia. According to the locals, restless souls reside there. Let's see if they're telling the truth. Really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video by the end. Here we go. We're starting a new game. Okay, so sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that the people commit are their own faults or those who brought them to this. And in order for you to believe your eyes and not fiction, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton, and we're getting started. Alright. Ah, this looks familiar. Yeah, this looks very familiar. Is this, uh... Is this locked up? This might be footage from Locked Up, honestly. Yeah, I'm almost certain it is. <laughs> and it's that house. Yep, that one. It keeps appearing in games recently. I searched all the corners, but I didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumors that the locals have been talking about for so many years are true. They say that there are ghosts of dead people in this place, at the hands of one of the residents. He himself was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place, and those who are touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors are true, and to find evidence of this. In keeping with my tradition, I closed the doors of the building behind me, so that there's no temptation to leave it. And I'm staying here for a few nights, recording a report. I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack with things, and food with me. Right. So he's coming prepared. What is he doing there? Building a fence? Barricading himself in? Emika Games presents The Summer of 58. Here we go. Right. Are you fucking kidding me? I was kidding! But he actually did that? You barricaded yourself in? Okay, right. I can understand you locking the door to an extent, but boarding up the door you came through. What the fuck is wrong with you? You madman. I guess that means that I can't leave. No, can't leave. And... Wait, you didn't board up the fucking windows as well, did you? You are insane! <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm committed. Here we are at the abandoned pioneer camp in Russia. Let's just have a little poke around, shall we? Oh, oh hang on. Am I... Oh, I'm taking the boards down, so apparently we can do that when we want to. Right. Just one more at the bottom. Looks like we're gaining entry to a toilet of all places. Had to be, didn't it? <laughs> it's like poetry. Right, let's see. Uh, actually, it is kind of hard to see. I came prepared, right? I've got some sort of light source. The common keys don't seem to be working, though. Maybe I just can't use it quite yet. Um... Doesn't look like we can jump. We can crouch. Is there something down here? Oh, there is. Hang on. Ah, we got a lighter! Here we go. Yeah, I can take that with me. So, oh. The lighter is almost empty. I can't always use it. Wait, hang on. Is this a horror engine game? I'm pressing V and nothing's happening, so I guess not. But there is definitely something down here. Uh... I can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian-English dictionary. I think I left that at home. 
but no, oh, surely I didn't. Did I bring it with me? What about this? Uh, can't seem to pick that up. Right. A Russian English dictionary. Oh, well, you know, I, I, I came prepared, right? So maybe it's around here somewhere? Creepy looking place. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this actually. I've enjoyed the previous few Emica Games games. Oh, hang on. Yep, again, I can't read what it says. I do need to find this dictionary, and it must be around here somewhere, right? Oh, hang on. Are these my supplies? Ah, right, so this is my sleeping bag, I think? And the m Yeah, that's right, I brought a sleeping bag with me, as I plan to spend a few nights here. Got the backpack here, which I can't seem to really interact with. There's the camera, right, fantastic. Yeah, forget the lighter, we've got a night vision camera. With zoom functionality as well. So, that bar in the top left, that's just the zoom. Right, okay, no battery meter, fantastic. Lovely. Oh, and here it is, this is the Russian English Dictionary, great. I was translating some Russian books in college and I took a Russian English Dictionary with me to help with the translation. I found it on the local market. Right, so with that, can I look at this now? There you go. You need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times, barefoot lady, show me my face, and I will give my shoes in return. I'd rather not if it's all the same to you. Girls in Russia loved to guess in the camps and believed in the existence of everything paranormal. Hmm, okay. Right, so let's have a look at this. Get this translated. Okay, there are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp, and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. She did not wash and did not go to the river. One day, the older girls decided to laugh at her, tied her hands and poured water over her. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days, and they decided that she was dead. But one night, she came back in her pajamas all wet and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. This bathroom? Okay, I don't want to be here at night. <laughs> I think I want to get out of here. But not before I have a proper poke around with this. So, nothing down there. Can I? No, I can't have a look at that. Um, is there something there? Hey, oh yeah, there is actually something here. Hang on. Oh, it's a photo! From the summer of 58, presumably? Oh, actually, no. Uh, maybe 1946, according to the bottom right at the back. Huh. Alright. Got a first aid kit in there. That could come in handy a little bit later on, maybe. Alright. Let's see, then. Let's go this way. Got some lockers here. What's that? Another photo, this time of old playground equipment. Alright. It's very dark around here. I'm very glad that I've got my camera. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm responsible for this, am I? I can't pull them down. Can't pull that down either. Can I grab the gas mask? No? Okay. Got a load of creepy toys over here. Um... Okay. Oh! <laughs> Did someone feed the cats here? Actually, the most terrifying thing is they fed themselves. Now what's this? Oh, I can have a look at this one. In 1958, towards the end of the summer, parents called the camp to find out if everything was alright with their children, but no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one. Only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in the search for the missing children, but all in vain. What happened to them, I wonder? I guess that's part of why I'm here, right? I'm hearing something. Not outside, but here. Is it a gas mask? Oh, it's a cat! It's a purring cat! Hey, up there! <laughs> Didn't notice you. Right, right, yes, the, uh, the cats. Yes, yes, I understand now. Um, okay. Right, so... 
can't take the boards off. Um, oh, hang on, is that? Ah, I think there's something, yeah, on the inside of this locker door. I was scared, and I didn't know it would end there. I trusted her, my friend, Anna. I'm sorry for not being able to stop this. Stop what? Hmm. Okay. Right. I Sounds like someone's trying to get in. Oh. Oh. Okay, hang on. Maybe a few people. Ooh. To be honest, I was actually hoping he would succeed. Huh. Okay. I heard someone outside, like over here as well. Weird. Very weird. You were not there before. I would remember you. <laughs> Creepy. Creepy. Okay. Maybe things are just like changing around here and I'm not noticing it, but I noticed that. Bloody hell, I noticed that. Um, so, yeah. Let's have a look. There's probably a tool around here that I could use to pry the boards off, right? It's not just... Oh, hang on. What was that? Oh, it's like a little battleship. Yeah, it's not just these, like, three rooms, is it? Hang on. Okay, we've got another one. An investigation is underway on the disappearance of children and employees of the Yonost Pioneer Camp, which was opened in 1955 under the leadership of director Maria uh, Anatolievna A. Uh, the suspect in this case is a child living in this camp. The name is Yakov. Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. What happened to him and where he is now is not known. Nice. So his locker was back there, maybe? Let's have a look. Maybe I can find something. Uh, hmm. Anything? I can't actually open these of my own volition. Oh, is that? <laughs> okay, we've got a nesting doll there by the looks of it. I'll just leave that there. Um, I'm at a bit of a loss as to what I need to do next. Can you help me, cat? Hmm. Yeah, it feels like I, I need to progress through one of these doors, but I just don't really know how. And you're very weird. Right. Um... Someone in the vent? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Oh no! No! Not the cat! Not the cat! The cat's okay, right? Uh, I can't see the cat. Looks like something fell down, maybe. Oh, hang on. That's that fucking doll! Ooh. Uh... Air raid sirens? Ooh. Look at that. Is there an active military base nearby? Nah, just Silent Hill, which is much, much worse. So where did the cat go? And what's this? Is it? Oh, hang on. I think it, there's a there's a photo or something back there. Oh wait. Oh, these candles will be useful when night falls. Thanks, cats. Oh, <laughs> it was actually this I was looking at. Right. Okay. Huh. Let me just go check the bathroom. Yeah, this is sprint, by the way. This is as uh, this is as fast as I go. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's the same doll. It just keeps moving around. Damn. Okay. Um. So, what's the next move? I've got... Well, I've got a lighter. I've got some candles, right? Do I just put them down here with my supplies? Oh, hang on. Oh, I, apparently I can light the candles now. Let's see. There you go. Just like that. 
Yeah, it's getting pretty bright outside at the moment, but I guess it's not going to be for much longer. Now I can spread out my sleeping bag. Are you sure about this? Oh, he's sure about this. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, just somewhere around here? Perfect! Yeah, done! Need to prepare for the night. Okay, so... Okay, I guess we've prepared. Uh, night one, or night hashtag one. And if you couldn't read that in the middle, maybe you can read it down in the bottom left. Oh boy. Um, yeah. This is not a very good idea. Uh, that's my camera, right? I'm gonna want that. Oh boy. Uh, did I close that before I went to sleep? Ooh. Okay. Let's just have a little poke around. So I'm, uh, I'm looking for, I'm listening out for ghostly activity, right? Restless souls. Let's go this way. I'm curious about that rabbit doll. Which has moved again. Yeah. Okay. Anything else out of place? Again, don't know where the cat went. Hopefully it jumped out the window. Hopefully it's way, way away from here. There's a little envelope. Oh crap! There is an envelope down here! I can actually have a look at it as well. Wow, that's like a really fine detail there. Um... Can't really make this out very well, but it seems like it's a... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! It's a boy using a phone! Who was that? Which door was it? Ooh. Sounds like there's someone on the other side of that door. Okay, I'm gonna go back on myself. In here? Let's try in here. Oh, the sounds in this game are riling me up already. Wow, okay. And the way this game looks, with the level of lighting as well, it's like, it's perfect. It actually is perfect. I want to rip these boards off right the fuck now, seriously. What we got here? Oh, the fuse is missing. Oh, hang on. Look, there it is. Oh, is that the old one? <laughs> I can't pick it up, so maybe. I thought that I'd just solved the puzzle within like a second. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're looking for a fuse. In the dark. Yeah, probably should have done that during the day, quite honestly. Um, this way? Really sounds like there's someone to the left now. Wait, there's that doll. That rabbit. What the hell is going on? This is really quite spooky already. Oh, it's locked. Oh, shit. The doll's gone. The rabbit's gone. Oh man, I can already tell I'm gonna love this. <laughs> oh! I'm gonna love it because I hate it, basically, because it's riling me up. It's making me uncomfortable. Can we leave, please? No? Shit. There's, there's gotta be a key. There's gotta be a fuse. There's gotta be a key. <laughs> oh! Fuck! Wait. Phone call? Uh, hello? Who are you? My name is... Ooh, okay. Did you just bop me over the head with a saucepan or something? What is this, PUBG? Is that actually what happened? Oh my god, my head! I think that's actually what happened! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, how did I get here? Where is here exactly? Oh! I, I need to find my video camera! Yeah, I, I actually do. Right, okay, so... These doors are both open. Right, uh, well... Would my video camera be somewhere around here where I was, like, knocked out? 
Wait. It, that's it, isn't it? That's it right there. I can't pick it up. And I also can't translate this. I lost my dictionary as well? Oh. Oh, n n <laughs> not for long. Uh, there you go. Whoa. I'm getting breathing from that room. I don't think that's me. Right. Uh, it says you're not welcome here. But now I can pick this up. Right. The one who hit me on the head took the candles. I have to figure out what's going on here. I have to figure out who's breathing. I need to try and turn on the lights in the entire building. Ooh. Is there someone in the vent? I think that was actually coming from the vent. Um, right, if I'm going to try and turn the lights on, presumably I'm going to need to find this fuse, right? And it's definitely not that. It's definitely not that. Uh, the fuse is definitely missing. Um, so, right. Well, it looks like we've got access to one, maybe two rooms? Okay. Is that the cat humming? <laughs> um, what we go over here? Oh, look at that blood. Wait, what? What is that? I don't know if that's human or like an animal carcass. Right, I'm, I'm breaking these boards down. Yeah, I can do it when I want to. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so... Holy shit. Yeah, what is that? I need to look this room. Yeah, I, I need to look around this room, yes. For more creepy toys. Uh, oh, okay, we've got a, uh, a newspaper article here. The director of the pioneer camp, Yanost, Maria uh, Anatolievna, disappeared like the rest of the camp workers. Maria had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 to 1950. She was a caregiver who devoted herself only to work. Discipline was the most important to her, so the parents entrusted their children to her. And they soon regretted it. Right. Bloody handprint on one of the old desks. Hmm. Okay. Can I have a look at this one as well? No. What about that? No? Okay. That, right. Something like this. You, you don't know it's an item because there's no glow around it or anything like that. There's just odd little things that you can mess around with. Just tinker around with. I quite like that. Although it does make finding the items that you need to find a bit of a pain, or does it? Hang on, look, we got a fuse! Oh god. Oh, is that me? Oh, that's me for once! Okay, right, I'll, I'll take the box with me. If something goes wrong at night, then I'll use the light bulbs for lighting. Good idea, so hang on. Uh, am I just gonna take this? Yeah, need to take the box to the sleeping bag. Ooh, shit, okay! Wasn't expecting that to happen. Maybe at night, but not now. Um, the sleeping bag. Right. Let's sort this fuse out, shall we? Here we are. Uh, so, okay, got the fuse. That goes in there. Turn on the light, yes. Uh, that's a phone. No, I'm looking for a light switch. Uh, preferably one that isn't busted. Okay, I'm going in here. She's gone. I'm just seeing things. Yeah. That's it. I'm just seeing things. <laughs> uh, let's check this room out. I, I darted out of it pretty quickly. There's probably something around here, right? Uh, any of this? Can I have a look at any of this? Oh, I can have a look at this. It's another photo. Okay. Oh, that's the pigeon that I can hear, is it? Nice little detail. And it led me to this! Uh, late at night when people fall asleep. No need for fun and no need for a fool. And the bells are empty and the eyes are full of bitterness. The courtiers do not know what that fun means to the fool. The fool decides that. Enough is enough! 
and he that night, wearing a sad suit, poisons the court and the king. I'm sad at heart, but the plan is not a failure. The fool will no longer be fun for you. Uh-huh, okay. That's a little bit disturbing, a little bit worrying. Um, that was Yakov, was it? Okay. Don't know if there's anything else to find here. Um, yeah, the light switches just don't seem to work, so I don't really know how I'm meant to get the, uh, the lights on, quite honestly. That one's busted too. Oh, hang on. Ah! There you go. Oh no, what have I done? Something in here? Something in that far corner? Is it that? It's a radio. That's all it is, it's just a radio. Should I keep it on? I think I'm gonna keep it on. I'm very nervous just walking around this place. I just keep hearing odd things. Okay, well... Back here? Maybe it's time to go back to bed. That's it, yeah, I, I need to go to bed. It'll be dark soon, because the days last like 10 minutes in this game. Um... Sleep or don't sleep? Oh, uh, don't sleep quite yet. Maybe I'm missing something. Hmm. No, I don't think I've left anything undone, have I? Let's let's go to sleep. I might regret this, but yeah. yeah especially with that as a sort of lullaby to nod off to. Fucking hell. Night two. I don't know why you haven't left yet, honestly. He's persistent, I'll give him that. Oh, the clock stopped at 3.07 a.m. So it did. Oh, and again, I, I don't have my video camera. Right, it's back on the tripod. I need that. I, I just need it. Okay, right. So, please take the boards off the door and leave. No, fuck's sake. Okay, we're going to have to endure another night. <laughs> uh, I didn't leave my dictionary down here, did I? No, I need that. Okay, well, it, I went to sleep, but I didn't close these doors up, did I? What's up with that? Oh, God. Oh, this is locked. What about this one? Oh, oh, oh okay. Do you want to open the door? Oh, no, okay. You leave it for me. Right. Well, it's the radio, isn't it? I think... That I think now I'm going to turn it off. Jesus. Oh. Is it that door that I can hear? Oh, gee. Oh, my goodness. That. Oh, God. That worked, and it's. I think it's still working. What the hell is going on with you? Oh, dear. Ooh, okay, right, yep, right. Um, it's definitely time to go. I don't know why I haven't gone yet. Fucking hell. Can you go to bed? <laughs> of course you can't. Where was that coming from? I can't really tell. Where do you think that fucking rabbit is now, eh? It's probably around somewhere. Oh, okay. Uh, what was that? Uh, hang on. Is there someone in the vents? There genuinely might be. Oh, was that that? That was the meat. That was the carcass that was dragged in. What the hell? Okay. Well, um. Not getting through there. Wait. Lenin, are you breathing? 
Not anymore. No. There's someone else. Honestly, there might be someone in the vent. It's coming from that sort of direction. Right. Anything else? What else has changed? It, this box wasn't here before. No, it wasn't. And I don't think that dead bird was either. Oh, it's locked. It'd be interesting to know what's inside. Yeah, I bet it would, but never mind. Okay. Um, so, we're looking for a key. I was just thinking, these lights are not great. There were spare- okay, there were spare light bulbs in the box, you're right, you're right. Okay. No one's rifled through the box and stolen them, right? Okay, no, we still got the three bulbs. There you go. Um, this one's working. Can I just screw it in there? No? Uh... Well, it was the one in here that was, uh... It was smashed, right? Was it this one? Right, okay. And we have lights again. What am I hearing now? I think whoever's in the vent is having a whiz. Or is that one of the sinks? Was running water. Can I? Hang on. No, I don't think I can use the tap. The hell is that thing? I, oh! Uh, okay, that took me by surprise. What is this box? I don't know. What is this box? What's that? That's even creepier. Fucking hell. Um. Right. The. Oh no. Jesus fucking Christ, that was well executed. <sighs> oh, and the box is gone. The box is gone. Was the box even there? I don't even know. Go home, man. Go home. You've got enough. You've, you've recorded enough footage. People will believe you. <sighs> I think you came here to just... Oh, God. It's that toy, isn't it? Oh, get away from my light bulbs, you little git. <laughs> ah, gee, oh god, this is really riling me up. This is really good. I'm really enjoying this. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, he didn't steal my light bulbs at the very least. He didn't steal the fuse. There's hope yet. <laughs> I was going to say, I, this guy came here because he thought this was all bogus, right? But he's discovering that it's not. What? Okay, well, we know where that rabbit is. And we can't get in. More breathing. Lenin? Is that you? It is really the perfect level of lighting. I can only just about see ahead of me. Someone behind? Uh, no, but there is actually a note. One day a girl came to the camp with a stuffed hair toy. She went everywhere with him, and even slept with him. The guys began to mock her that she came with her favourite bunny as a little girl, and made fun of her. Even the director asked to hide the hair in the closet, so that there would be no disagreements among peers. The girl listened to her, and put the hair in the locker, and in the coming night the hair came to life. He was offended by his mistress and those who mocked her, and strangled everyone at night. I keep hearing this breathing, and I assume it's not the hair toy. No one on the ceiling either, thank fuck for that. Damn, this is an unnerving experience, but I'm really, really enjoying it. Until I get fucking locked in the room. Oh, gee! Was that, was that here, or through there? I'm not sure. Wasn't another bird coming through or anything, was it? That's still locked. 
Still need to find a key. Somewhere. Okay, well, I, I'm going out. And I can go across. <laughs> did the, uh, did the bunny, did the hare run away with the- Oh, hello! That is a fucking freaky model. Oh, okay, right, 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 right. I'm zoom back out, I can't really see what's going on. Jeez. Uh, you dropped your ball. Uh, <laughs> this is a fucking roller coaster ride. This is actually really, really good, though. I really hope you're enjoying this. If you are, leave this video a like. And honestly, I'd say buy the game. Show this guy some support. He's doing very, very well recently. Oh god, what's going on? Yeah. If it's not a roller coaster ride, it's like a haunted house ride, but a really, really good one. Okay. Okay. There's the box. I've had a look around this room umpteen times. I haven't found a key yet. I'm probably not going to find one. There must have been a reason that I went into this room. Was it just for a scare? Honestly, it probably was just for a scare, but let's check this out properly. Let's just go over this. Okay. <sighs> Something down there? No. Chessboard. Oh, look! Look! Yeah, he noticed it as I did. With this key, I can open the box! You hope. Right. So... What's the catch? <laughs> There's always a catch in this game. Well, there it is. And in it goes. Right, so inside the box we find... A diary. Dear diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I've been preparing for this for three years, so that this summer will be special for me. During these days, I will bring up real people in them, and they will also help me a lot. Okay. Oh, really? The Night of 58, we're actually going back? This is a flashback? We're gonna play through this? Neat! Nice! Okay, uh, after a severe thunderstorm, there's no light in the building. Uh, it looks like this is a, what, a flashlight? Yes, it is. Oh, lovely. Oh, well, this is a nice change of pace. So this is how the room used to look before it was, like, completely destroyed, pretty much. All right. Uh, let's have a little look around the rest of the place. Okay, so the bedroom. Oh, gee. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that was. Was that desk open before? I don't know if it was, but there is something inside it. Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hid her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. Hid her key in the closet. What? What an arsehole. Where's the closet? Also, what key? Okay... Oh, there it is, on the music box. The key to the safe. What safe? I feel like I'm two steps behind here. <laughs> um, well, there's a safe around here somewhere. Here? Oh, you filthy child. I keep hearing the vent, I swear. And it seems like there's a there's a vent cover in most rooms somewhere. Oh, no, no, hang on, it is it's here, it's here. How do we get to it? Oh, I just need to move the chair out of the way, of course, yeah. <laughs> it makes so much sense. Okay. 
Uh, Yakov Parasit stole the second gas cylinder. This thing? I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. What the fuck is up with you? What are you planning? Okay, there's a diary here, I think? A, a, a special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives, and he became my favorite because he is so similar to my son Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei Sergeyevich at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. This day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. That's when you're planning to strike? Uh, we worked together with Alexei Sergeyevich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make uh, such a mistake because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys and Alexei Sergeyevich, who's changed his spelling a little bit, will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical record, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. Oh, poor guy. And the gas mask. With the filter missing and the glass broken, so it's uh, not much good, really. Okay. Yeah, he ruined my gas mask. Little shit. Right. Oh, fuck me. That was really well done. And that was really well done as well. I need to put the gas cylinder under the door and... and go back to the classroom. You mean this door? As they're sleeping? Oh man. Okay, back to the classroom then. Wait. Uh, that would be the other gas cylinder. Right, the gas mask. Oh, the gas mask is shit. I need. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez. Uh, can I borrow a gas mask, please? That'll be a no, I guess. Where's the. Oh, I guess I'm not gonna find a filter or glass. Okay. And back to the present, right. Here we are. Got my camera back. Wonderful. Yeah, I missed this. Okay. Uh, that's Maria's diary that we found in the box. I'm not going to take that with me. And I'm not actually going to take this with me either. Hmm. Breathing. Yeah. There is someone behind it. What's this? This is new, isn't it? You were told to get out of here. Leave this place alone. Right. Maybe I should. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. Right, hang on. Is that why we couldn't take it with us? Oh, now we can. Right, okay, uh, so what are we going to write down? What does this say? I know what... Oh, okay, I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me, who are you? Okay. So what, do I just slip it under the door? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I do. Do you want it? Turns out he wants it. Okay. I await your response. Let me go see if I can answer the phone. Come on. This is me sprinting. It was never going to happen. In fact, this was just to lure me into this room so something spooky could happen behind me, right? Oh boy. I know your tricks. <laughs> Oh, it's that fucking hair again. Right. Was that the message? Should try writing the letter again. Okay. Um. Down here again? Okay. 
What am I going to try this time? It says, I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me, and then I can help you. Alright, maybe I'll get a response with this one. This is a really, really good game. I'm, I, I was expecting, you know, a great game, but I'm actually very surprised it's this good. Right. So what, do I go answer the phone again and then something's gonna happen? Is the hair gonna pop out? Is that your message? Just sort of pacing back and forth. I don't think I'm gonna get a response. No. Maybe I can just... Oh no. Oh. Well, better late than never. What does this say? I was accused, but I didn't do it! Get out of here! <laughs> oh shit. Oh! Right. Um... I don't know whether I should go after that or maybe write another page. Yes, this is fucking weird. Right, uh, maybe, maybe we can continue this conversation. So, let me go back to my writing desk. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I think this is gonna work. Okay, and this one says... Is, <laughs> it doesn't say, ooh. It says, is your name Yakov? Have you been living here alone for many years? Trying to break in again. Right, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ignore it. I'm having a conversation with Yakov, I think. It's like he's never really sure if he wants the message or not. But begrudgingly, he does pick it up. Okay. I just... I want to sort of check the premises, you know? I, <laughs> I I don't know what's going to happen next. Am I... Yeah, I'm going to get a message next, apparently. What does it say? Uh, yes. So it's, it's him. Here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it's our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things, but my friends helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here, and those people will come for me. I don't know where that came from, but right. Let's ignore it. Let's continue the conversation, right? Yeah. Oh, there's the fucking hair. <laughs> nice to see you, I suppose. Who are your friends? And why are they here too? Yeah. Answer me that. That sounded like it was right behind me. It might not have been, but... Wait, let me check on that hair. Of course he's gone! Bloody hell! Okay, right. Well, it looks like uh, we're getting messages a little bit quicker now. That's a big one. The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up here. That day, in the evening, after lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. Hmm. Well, that's kind of what I went through when I had that flashback, I suppose. <laughs> oh, right. Right. Yep. Yeah, forget about that. <laughs> Back to the writing desk. We've got so much more to talk about. All right. Uh, all this was planned by the director of the camp. What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? Let's find out. Ah, uh, oh, hello. What a weird face you have, it's like a mask. Ooh. Damn. I've been riled up ever since I fucking started this game. This is really good. I'm very, very impressed. Very, very impressed. Come on, take it. There you go. Right. Yeah, 
Yeah, try as they might. They're not going to scare me off. I am determined to get to the bottom of this. Especially at this point. It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us. But I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation. Only sometimes go to the rooms. Wow. So you were in the vents this whole fucking time. A really long time. When exactly is this set? I mean, how many how many decades has he been here? How many decades has he stuffed himself in the vents? I thought he was a ghost, but I think he's actually alive. I guess he goes out hunting once in a while. Anyway, right. That building. Abandoned? Can I get there? The abandoned hospital? Is that what he said? Honestly, mate, at this point, you might as well just open the door so we can talk face to face, or at least pass notes to each other face to face. You and your spirit friends have tried to scare me off, but it's not working, alright? Cool. Okay. Yakov? Yakov doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. I need to tear the boards off the front door. Well, it's about bloody time. Oh my goodness. So... We're changing locations? We're actually going to do this, aren't we? Right! So, the abandoned building. Another abandoned building. An abandoned hospital, I think. This is a great game. I do not regret this purchase one little bit, and I really, really do hope you love this as much as I do. Okay, so, night number three. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, Yakov said that I could find proof here? Let's take a look around. Okay, so, thankfully I did bring this with me. And my Russian English dictionary. <laughs> I Fuck off. Who did that? It wasn't me. Right. Oh my. It's dark. Uh, can I leave? No, I just came here. I need to find proof. Oh, Christ. Okay. Well, it looks like I brought my supplies. Sleeping bag and all. How much time are we going to spend here? <laughs> as little as possible, hopefully. Doors are all chained up. Okay. Um... Mm-hmm. Need to find some keys. Or bolt cutters or something. Okay. Sounds like there's something over there. Is that a dream catcher? Huh. Right. Um. Well, I guess there's gonna be notes around here because I I brought my, you know, translation dictionary, didn't I? Okay. Wish I could get a translation of that. Uh, it sounds like it's just on the other side of that door. Damn. No. Oh. What was that? Was I meant to see something? <laughs> I got a noise, and the noise did spook me. But. I think that was it. There's something I'm missing here, obviously. Wait. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ, where's that coming from? It's banging over there, banging behind me. Is that one of the doors? Oh, what? Oh, what is this bullshit? What happened to the door? How did I... Oh, I don't like this. 1946. After the war, dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. 
an orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans, worked under the leadership of the military. Nice. Oh boy. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a, it's a cupboard, it's a cabinet, it's like a wardrobe, but I can't open it. Gonna push it to the side or anything? No, okay. Um... No. Can't go that way. There's no bolt cutters or anything around here. Have you got any tools? Fucking wish you did. Uh... That really does sound like there's someone on the other side of the door. Oh, God. Oh, okay, right. Uh, thank you. I guess we're gonna go this way now. We just had to bide our time. Okay. Oh god, what is it with the creepy dolls in this game? Man, oh man, oh man, you just can't avoid them! What we got here? The doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnoses and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about this, but he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed. The building became abandoned. So that's how that happens. Okay, this door leads to another corridor. I... You have an angle grinder with you? What the fuck? This guy really did come prepared. Oh, Jesus Christ. He did come prepared, though. He did. Oh, boy. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Right. Yeah, this place won't let me go. I have to finish what I started. So... The, oh, the angle grinder. That He didn't just nick it, did he? <laughs> I assume I've still got it. Uh, okay, so, yep. Alright. He had that tucked away in his backpack the whole time. Man. Uh, let's see then. Really am relying on the night vision here. I sincerely hope that I don't have battery problems. Not here. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son, Ivan. I was lucky that Alexei Sergeyevich agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affairs. Well, they do now, don't they? They bloody do now. Lucky me. <laughs> Had to be me, didn't it? Okay. One moment, I'll just get through. <laughs> There you go. Nothing in the way. Nothing hindering my progress. Oh. So many of the scares in this game are exquisite. So many work perfectly. That wasn't one of them. Not for me, at least. No. Okay. Oh, I'm hearing all sorts. Okay. Oh, there's something here. Oh dear. Uh, I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Venechka. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. Right. Like Yakov, right? Uh, well, hang on. And now I've got bolt cutters too? Wow, okay. I mean, I was asking for him, so <laughs> thank you. Hey. Uh. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of noises. Noises that I don't really want to be hearing. Okay, so there's no, there's no other door there. Um. Uh, oh, this is moved now. Wonderful. Fantastic. So this... Okay, that's... Yeah, that's now the blockage that was there before. Can I get rid of this? Yep, there you go. Using the angle grinder. Not the bolt cutters, although I suppose either would have worked. Why have we got both? Oh, that's why we've got both. Because the battery runs out. 
Jesus Christ, the sound in this game is fucking brilliant. And the dolls are spooky. <laughs> What's this? I don't know if I'll make it to the morning, because the day shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices, as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman. More like her silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. I don't want to check if it's true. Or maybe it's just my imagination, which is sharpened after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet weigh some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I've never seen them anywhere. They look terrible, and it smells of dead things from there. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. Okay. Is it this cabinet? Well, well, most likely the one that keeps moving around. And that's moved again. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hey, I, I remember seeing you in the demo! From day to day, right? Yeah! That's coming out soon as well. That's another Emika Games game. Right. Ah, okay, yes. Uh, the bolt cutters this time? Yeah. <laughs> Little change of pace. Fucking hell, that got me. I'm kind of embarrassed to say that a lot of this game is getting me. But that's just an accolade for it, really. God. Oh god. There's gonna be something terrifying behind me. No? Am I just locked in? Uh something's going on here. Maybe I need to find a note, read a newspaper. Is there something scribbled on the wall in shit? What's going on here? What do we need to do? Oh, yeah, just walk through the door. Oh, yes, okay. Well, that little shit that didn't scare me before scared me then. So, well done, little buddy. The toilets, right, what we got? Nothing? No more bolt cutters? Nothing there? Oh, shit! Mm. This game is getting me to an extent that few games get me. Uh, a year later, after the events in 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital, but with budget cuts, it stopped working again. And the door reopens. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Can we get back? No? Oh, the wall's gone. Oh, we're on the other side of the blockage. Oh, and this is the... <laughs> this is the cross upside down. This is the closet you were talking about? Alright. I guess I'm brave enough to move it. Oh, and of course there's something behind it. A hidden doorway. Right. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. In a toilet of all places as well. Oh jeez. How had her body not decomposed after all these years? Good question, honestly. Good question. Um, what? Hang on here. Hey. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, fuck off, she's gone. Oh, so's the fucking door! Ah, jeez. Right, hang on. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me, and I'm not just going to leave. I'll be back. Uh, what she meant by that, and how she would return. Maria, I'm so sorry. Right. Oh, and the safe. The safe, of course. Here are the documents from 1958. Alexei Sergeyevich, uh, about whom Maria spoke, replied to her that he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. Then, what was the case in question? And who was she talking to when Yakov saw her? There's something else. The death certificate document. This is her son, Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently, she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Poor woman. Oh, and there's the death certificate. There you go. I'll take that with me. I think that's it. Right. So, uh, I'm screwed. 
Uh, no doors, no windows. Uh, angle grinder out of battery. Not much to do but sit on the bog, really. Look at that embedded in the skull. Ah. That's a fancy looking knife. Looks like a bat wing. Oh! Need to get out of here as soon as possible. Oh! Okay. Ah! Back to reality? Oh! Thankfully, no. <laughs> this way? No. Straight ahead? Now that would be a dead end. What the? <sighs> Fucking hell. Okay. No more blockage, though. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Can I just get out of here? Is the door back? Right. I'm gonna take my stuff. N no, I'm not. I'm not gonna take my stuff, but I think I am gonna get out of here. Okay. Three weeks later! I was in there a long time. This is a fucking fantastic game. I really, really love this. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I haven't barricaded myself in this time. Um... So, have I returned to speak to Yakov? Doors are boarded up again. I guess he's been busy. Still got the diary. There can't be too many more pages to rip up. Hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid that you'll be found and accused of something that you did not do. I've taken care of everything. I didn't tell anyone that you live here with your friends. Protect this place further. Now it's rightfully only your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. So we're just going to leave him to it, are we? I guess so. I am glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and helped Yakov find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to another place with a terrible history, where witches used to live. And there, I will have an unusual case. I'll tell you about it later. That's a, that's a hook for a sequel, I think. Or maybe just the next game that's coming out? Is that, is that from day to day? That's about witches, right? Or it might be. Hmm. Might be in some sort of shared universe here. There you go, though. That was fucking brilliant. That was sensational. That was one of the best horror games that I've ever played. It riled me up to an extent that few games can rile me up. Really, truly something else. Uh, a lot... A lot was executed just perfectly, at least for me. Maybe for other people, you, you can just go through it, you don't get jumped, you don't get spooked. You can go through it, it's not nerve-wracking, it's not, it's not uncomfortable at all. But for me, it worked, and it worked really, really well. The visuals, the realistic-looking visuals were really, really good. Uh, the story! Um, you can kind of take or leave the story, honestly, but it was actually pretty good. I was pretty engaged, I wanted to know what happens. But really, what stands out to me... What, what makes this like 11 out of 10 is the audio, which lends itself very, very well to the atmosphere. And yeah, as, uh, as you'll see in the highlights that follow, and as you've heard, it's worked brilliantly on me. I was spooked like every minute of this game. Really riled up. This is from day to day, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's what he was alluding to. Oh? A few days later? <laughs> I love how there's always two texts. <laughs> you can pick and choose. Alright. So there's like an epilogue as well? Okay. Uh, well, let's pick this up. Oh fuck, the battery's dead. Well, you served me well in the main game, at the very least. Uh, I had to wait for the person who bought this house, but after his arrival, a few days later, something went wrong. This place has ceased to be harmless. I'm trapped here. I don't think that a woman from a shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Does this house have a pendulum for people like her? What if other spirits followed me? Maybe that's why I didn't find anyone in those houses. I miraculously managed to escape from that abandoned orphanage, but I'm not sure that I'll be released now. 
We need to try to get out and warn that guy that it's dangerous to stay here. Yeah, it's been a little too late, I fear. Right. So what is this, like... Well, hang on, is that that knife again? That's the same knife. I think this might be the basement of that house in, uh, from day to day. Can't get this open. Um... Oh dear. I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> Definitely doesn't work. Definitely doesn't work. Uh huh. Okay. Can I pick the knife up and wield it? Nope. Of course I can't. Hey. Oh shit. To be honest, you must have some lungs on you to blow that candle out while you're facing away from it. Oh boy. It's definitely dead. It's definitely dead. Shit. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's gonna work now. Uh... Is that behind me? Oh, it is! Hey! Right. I guess I'll be seeing you in the next game. Alright. Well, there you go. That was Summer of 58. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And I hope you did as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. What is he doing there? Are you fucking kidding me? I was kidding! I can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian-English dictionary. I think I left that at home. <laughs> I don't think I'm responsible for this, am I? Sounds like someone's trying to get in. Oh. Oh. Weird. Very weird. Someone in the vent? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Oh no! Are you sure about this? Oh, he's sure about this. I can't really make this out very well, but it seems like it's a- Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Hang on, look, we got a fuse! Oh god. Oh, is that me? Oh, that's me for once! That's it, yeah, I, I need to go to bed. It'll be dark soon, because the days last like 10 minutes in this game. Is it that door that I can hear? Oh, gee- Oh, my goodness. Lenin, are you breathing? The- Oh, no. Jesus fucking Christ, that was well executed. Did the, uh, did the bunny, did the hare run away with the- Oh, hello! The key to the safe. What safe? I feel like I'm two steps behind here. <laughs> nice. Oh, fuck me. Okay, and this one says- it's, oh. <laughs> It doesn't say- Oh, wait, let me check on that hare. Of course he's gone! Bloody hell. I need to tear the boards off the front door. Well, it's about bloody time. Well, it looks like I brought my supplies. Sleeping bag and all. How much time are we going to spend here? <laughs> this door leads to another corridor. I... You have an angle grinder with you? What the fuck? This guy really did come prepared. Oh, Jesus Christ. He did come prepared, though. And that's moved again. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hey, I, I remember seeing you in the demo! Nothing there. Oh, shit! Mm. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, fuck off, she's gone. Oh, so's the fucking door! Ah, jeez. Back to reality? Oh! Thankfully, no. <laughs> oh, dear.